Also here in the San Fernando Valley overnight, there were stranded vehicles on surface streets. People either trying to rescue their cars or abandoning them after becoming stuck in the deep water. Firefighters had to rescue at least one person from those vehicles. While there are no reports of injuries or major damage stemming from the storm, there were dozens of reports of flooding across the city. We're told more than 4,000 911 calls overnight, LAPD responding to 97 traffic accidents. In addition to the widespread flooding, more than 5,000 DWP customers were in the dark who lost electricity. Boyle Heights and Hollywood among the hardest hit areas. So Kyle Edison also working to restore power to thousands of customers. We're also talking about freeway closures. Overnight, northbound lanes, the 5 freeway was shut down, diverting traffic off the freeway at Lancashire. This area typically floods when we have torrential rains, but it's unclear what's causing the flooding under the overpass. It does seem like some of the mud maybe just like slid across the lane and so slowly they, they were able to open lane after lane. It wasn't causing too much of a backup. You know, we've been driving around L.A. all morning long and it just appears as though people are staying home. School was canceled, so you just don't have the traffic that we uh, were expecting for a regular Monday morning. That's the very latest. We are live in Sun Valley. I'll send it back to you in Hollywood.